Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about 10 rules for success you need to know. Now, let's begin. Number one, let yourself get lost. Real success is confusing and vague. There's no one there to tell you that you're doing the right thing or that you're on the right path. Whether you like it or not, you have to figure it all out on your own. Now, you might imagine your success story going one way. In your head, it's simple and straightforward. If you want something enough, then you'll get it. If you try hard enough, you'll earn it. And if you care enough, you'll be rewarded for it. But true success stories are anything but simple or straightforward. They're full of bumps and 90-degree turns. They're unexpected, complicated, and sometimes backwards. And that can really take its toll on your mindset. Along the way, you might feel like you're doing everything wrong, like you're never pushing hard enough or doing what you're supposed to be doing. But the good news is, that's part of the journey. Every successful person has felt clueless hundreds, if not thousands of times. Before you ever really learn where you're going, you have to spend time feeling lost. Because that aimlessness is a huge component of success. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds terrifying, right? No one wants to go out on your own or take those risks. But that's why lifelong success is so fulfilling. So here's the very first rule that you need to know. Get lost. No, really, get lost. Let yourself feel aimless for a little while and try your best to find your path all on your own. Because in those moments of uncertainty, you'll make the moves that matter the most down the road. Number 2. Fairness does not exist. Life can be unfair. There's just no way around it. Hard workers get lost in the background. Undeserving people find fame and fortune. It's not an even playing field. And you know what? It never will be. So don't act like success is something the world owes you. The second rule to success is this. Things probably won't go the way you planned, so don't get mad about it. Don't hold a grudge against the world because your dreams will never come true if you stop pushing. Yeah, sure, there may be some luck involved along the way, but you'll never be successful 100% of the time, no matter how lucky you are. In other words, you might do everything right and fail miserably. You might do everything wrong and achieve your dreams. <laughs> you never really know. So just do your best. Stay positive, and when life inevitably knocks you down, don't complain about it. Just get back up and fight even harder. Number 3. Success takes time. Imagine you're looking for your first stepping stone towards success. Now, like most people, you want to prove right away that you have what it takes. You want to show the world exactly what you're made of. And that means a high-paying job. It means buying our own things, shaping our own life, starting to make something of yourself. You may desperately want all of these things. But are you willing to wait? This is a psychological mistake that keeps countless people from finding success. Imagine you just got a big raise. You're finally flush with cash, so you want to buy all the things that you've been dreaming about. So you put a down payment on a new car. You splurge for a new flat screen. In other words, you burn through money faster than you're making it. Why? Because your brain is only thinking about the short term. It's looking for a quick and efficient payoff, even if you're spending more money than you actually have. My point is, long-term gratification is essential for success. Whether it's money, status, or reputation, people focus too much on their short-term success, so they never learn how to be patient and wait for their time to shine. If you hope to be successful, you need to develop self-control. Success requires you to learn, grow, and build your legacy gradually. You have to find a path and achieve your goals little by little. You'll make small bits of progress until you finally develop something to be proud of. So bide your time, work hard, and look toward the future. It may not be glamorous, it may not be as fulfilling as you hoped, but eventually your perseverance is going to pay off big time. Number 4. Polish your image. It's true, image matters no matter what field you're in. Your appearance will always affect the way people treat you and how much they expect of you. So if you want to be successful, spend some time polishing your image. 
You don't have to wear designer suits or pay hundreds of dollars to get your hair cut, but you do have to take pride in the way you look. That means looking groomed and presentable, wearing clean professional clothing, and paying attention to the standards of your work environment. Because your appearance is the first thing people notice about you, it's a big part of any first impression that you make. If you make a bad first impression, you may miss an amazing opportunity, all because you didn't take the time to improve your image. Number 5. Failure is an option In an ideal world, no one would feel like a failure, because a couple of big mistakes can really knock you down, eat away at your motivation, and breed a self-deprecating mindset. Some people experience failure once, and they give up completely. They surrender their dreams and ambitions before they even get a chance to try. But here's the bitter truth. There's no way around it. If failure is too intimidating for you, then you may not have what it takes. At least not yet. Because the real world will always have winners and losers, the real world will not hesitate to let you know that you failed. But you can't let those failures discourage you or scare you off. If your mistakes tear apart your dreams, well, then they'll never come true. But how do you push past that fear? How do you rise above your failures? If there's one essential takeaway, it's this right here. Every winner was a loser at some point. Every successful person failed plenty of times. They've hit rock bottom. They've doubted their ideas and they thought about giving up. But in the end, those successful people found the courage to try again. Their mistakes made them stronger, their failures pushed them to explore new creative ideas, and to double down on their ambitions. So even though failure is always an option, even though you might lose, your mistakes should never keep you down. Number 6. Read Between the Lines when starting a new job, most people expect a strict set of rules. They want a roadmap that'll take them from the bottom all the way to the top. But success isn't something that's planned out for you. No one is going to give you the key to a successful career. If you follow the rules and do what people tell you, you might be a good employee, but that's all you'll ever be. Rising to the top requires more than the minimum. Like every successful person, you have to learn how to read between the lines. In other words, you have to follow orders and think outside the box. You have to pioneer new ways to push yourself forward and to propel yourself further and further up the ladder. In the real world, success always comes to the ones who take the initiative, never the ones who sit back and wait. Number 7. Fix Your Own Mistakes when you get out into the real world, no one's going to clean up your messes. Many people treat their boss like a safety net, but they have no reason to work with you, to nurture you, or encourage you. They just want to make their company or project the best that it can be. If you make a big mistake, it's on you to prove your worth. If you're slacking off or letting things slide, then you're going to get fired. So the seventh rule for success is to fix your own mistakes because no one else will fix them for you. Number 8. You don't know everything If you're just entering the job market, there's one bitter pill that you have to swallow. Ugh. The truth is, you're new and inexperienced. Yeah, I know it's tempting to look down on everyone else. You feel like you've got so much more potential, but that ego is gonna get you in trouble. So ditch your pride as fast as you can. Open yourself up to all the knowledge, tips, and advice that experienced employees have to offer. Yeah, you might be smarter than them, you might have read more books, but they're your superior for a reason. So learn what you can and give them the respect they deserve. Number 9. Balance Your Work Ethic Most people assume time and success are a one-to-one -one ratio that you get as much as you give, so they pour over their work, staying late every night, working through holidays, assuming every extra hour will pay off in the long run. But success it doesn't work that way. The key to a successful work ethic is moderation. You have to create a balance between work, family, and your personal health. Otherwise, you're not going to perform like you want to, or succeed like you imagined. Number 10. 
busy work matters. Okay, let's say you want a job that utilizes your creative and intellectual potential. You want to work on innovative products, you want to talk strategy, and tackle the big picture. But what actually ends up happening? Well, most of the time, you're stuck doing busy work. It's not the kind of work you imagine, but that doesn't mean it's worthless. Yeah, I know these jobs aren't the most satisfying, but you can still make the most of your position. Try to impress someone new each day, or make a network of new connections. Every job will have its rough patches and boring days, but the ones who make the most of those moments are the ones who climb the fastest. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.